Okay, in this video we're going to talk about homogeneous linear differential equations with repeated roots. And by repeated roots, I mean roots of its companion polynomial. So uh, we'll focus on uh, degree two differential equations, um, but this generalizes to higher degree di uh, differential equations. And I should say here that we're focusing on ones with constant coefficients. <clears throat> so let's see. For example, if we have y double prime plus 2y prime plus y equals 0. So notice that has a companion polynomial u squared plus 2u plus 1, um, which factors like u plus 1 squared. So this would be an example of the type of differential equation that we want to work with. Um, so in order to find a solution to these, uh, we need one result to get us started. And we'll call this a lemma. So, um, and the lemma is as follows. Um, if um, a polynomial P of U, I'll use U as the variable for the polynomial because that's what I use for this um, polynomial here, um, has a repeated root r of um, maybe order 2, but again, this generalizes to order n as well, <clears throat> then p of r equals 0 and p prime of r also equals 0. Um, okay, good. So, we can prove that pretty easily. So if it has a repeated root, then that means we can factor u minus r squared out, and we have um, a polynomial left over. And then we already know that p evaluated at r is equal to 0. And then notice that p prime of u will be 2 uh, u minus r times q of u plus u minus r squared times q of u. Good, where well, we just used the product rule. But now it immediately follows that if we plug in r, we get 0. So this term will cancel off, and that term will also cancel off. OK, good. So now that we're equipped with this lemma, we can construct um, not only a solution to a differential equation like this, but to a general second order differential equation with a repeated root in its pop. OK, so like I said before, we want to consider a differential equation a y double prime plus b y prime plus c y equals 0, where um, a u squared plus b u plus c factors like a and then u minus r squared. In other words, there's a repeated root in the companion polynomial to this differential equation. So we know from previous work, um, we know that um, one solution is some constant, we'll call it C1 times, so we'll call it C1 times e to the rx. And so generally you get solutions to these types of differential equations by looking at the roots of this polynomial, but there's only one root to this polynomial, so we only get one solution by looking at the roots. So <clears throat> the next uh, trick is to guess that you may also have a solution that it's a product of this exponential and another function. So let's guess the general solution. is of the form y equals f of x times e to the rx. And now we just have to figure out what f of x is. So if we get that f of x is a constant, then we only have one solution. But as you'll see, we'll get that f of x is not a constant, which will give us two independent solutions, which is what we should have given that this is a second uh, order differential equation. 
Okay, so what we want to do is plug in this guess solution into our differential equation. So let's make a chart over here. So we have y equals this function times e to the rx. And now we'll keep taking derivatives. So that means y prime equals f prime of x e to the rx plus um, r times f of x e to the rx using the product rule. And then y double prime equals f double prime of x e to the rx plus 2 r f prime of x e to the rx. So we get two of these, one from taking the derivative of this and one from taking the derivative of this, plus r squared f of x e to the rx. Good. So now what we want to do is combine these together as per the differential equation. So let's see what we get. So we'll have a times y double prime. So this is y double prime. So that'll give us a f double prime of x e to the rx plus twice a r f prime of x e to the rx plus a r squared f of x e to the rx. So that's our first term. And then our second term will be b times y prime. So this is plus b times f prime of x e to the rx plus b times r f of x e to the rx. Good. And then finally, we have c times y, so that's c times this. So this is c times f of x e to the rx. So all of this is equal to zero. Okay, good. So um, in our next step, what I'll do is kind of combine like terms. So we'll combine like terms across the derivatives. So we'll think of these two as being like terms, and then these three as being like terms. So I'll rewrite this um, entire sum grouping these together, factoring out the f prime and the f as needed. So I'll erase the board and then we'll jump to that. Okay, so let's recall where we were. We had our initial differential equation, which was a y double prime plus b y prime plus c y, and then we had its companion polynomial a u squared plus b u plus c and we had assumed that it factored as a times u minus r squared. In other words, r is a double root of this polynomial. And then we had a lemma from before that said that not only is r a root, but r is a root of the derivative, which means 2a times r plus b is also equal to zero. And then we guessed that we may have a solution of the form f of x times e to the rx. Obviously e to the rx is the solution that's given by kind of our standard strategy with these types of differential equations with not repeated roots. Okay, so the next thing we did is we took all of the appropriate derivatives and now I've written everything um, combining the derivatives of f as the like terms. And so, so notice that this bit is equal to p evaluated at r which is equal to zero. And then this bit is equal to p prime evaluated r, which is also equal to zero, by our assumption that r is a repeated root and the lemma from before. So since our differential equation is this equals zero, that tells us that a f double prime of x e to the r x equals zero. So this gives us a choice of a couple of things that could be zero. A could be zero, but in that case we wouldn't have a second order differential equation. So A is not zero. E to the Rx is never zero because it's an exponential function. So that tells us that F double prime of X equals zero. But if f double prime of x equals zero, that tells us that f prime is a constant, which tells us that the general form of f of x is equal to c1 times x plus c2, 
which tells us that if we assume this was a solution to the differential equation, then that means this is a linear function. So that gives us a general solution for this type of second order differential equation when you have a repeated root. So your general solution is of the form C1x plus C2 times e to the rx, where r is the root. Now it's not super hard to generalize this um, to higher order differential equations or higher order roots of the companion polynomial, but we won't do that here.